and the kid is a very good ball boy, understands the game, reads the game, is not there just to to look to the stands or to the lights or to the scarves, he's there living the game and playing the game very, very well. In the end, I wanted to invite him for the dressing room to celebrate with us, but he disappeared. Jose Mourinho will never underestimate the importance of ball boys. He'll remember the night of November 2019 for a long time, when a kid on the touchline changed the course of the Tottenham Olympiacos to his advantage. Here are five times ball boys have changed the course of a match. Number one, for Mourinho, a ball boy is as important as the pitch or the supporters. Every detail counts in a real football club. I was a great ball boy. I knew exactly where each of the players in my team wanted the ball for every corner. They didn't even need to touch it. On the night of November 2019, one of Tottenham's ball boys quickly got the ball to Aurier, who then brought it right back into play. The result? Tottenham caught the opposition defense cold and scored. Mourinho was on cloud nine because the young boy had helped the team win. The pair even high-fived. The only drawback? The boy didn't even see the goal. Poor kid. Number two. But Mourinho only likes ball boys getting involved when it's to his advantage. During the Crystal Palace Chelsea, Jason Puncheon asked a ball boy to wait before returning the ball. Do you know what Mourinho did? He ran with as much determination as this majestic greyhound. Wow! I told the ball boys not to do that because one of my players could hit them or lose their temper. <laughs> Typical Jose. Number three. Staying with Chelsea, a ball boy got Aiden Nazard sent off. In 2013, as qualification for the League Cup final was slipping through the Blues' fingers against Swansea, a ball boy grabbed the ball to waste time. Something that did not impress Azard, who kicked the boy. The Belgian immediately received a red card. Swansea reached the final and won the League Cup. I just wanted to kick the ball. I thought I kicked the ball, not the boy. I'm sorry. The craziest part? The kid had planned it all along. The king of all ball boys is back making his final appearance. Hashtag needed, hashtag four, hashtag time wasted. What a villain! I know the ball boy should have released the ball, you know, a bit, a bit quicker than he did. Duh! One last story? Yes! Okay then, number four. The goalkeeper for China's national team, Wang Delay, saved Saudi Arabia's penalty thanks to a ball boy's advice. Uh, I was the ball boy and then Wang turned around and asked if I should jump left or right. So I said left and he jumped left and saved it. And then what did he do afterwards? He celebrated with the team, but at the end of the game, he came and gave me a hug. Wild scenes, which helped China win this match in the 2015 Asian Cup. The boy was given a signed jersey as a thank you. Wait, wait a second. Have we really forgotten to talk about Liverpool's comeback against Barcelona? Oh, yeah. Number five. How was Alexander Arnold able to take the winning corner so quickly in the Champions League semifinal? His awareness was definitely important, but so was the ball boy, who got him the ball so quickly. So, never forget, if you ever find yourself as president of a club, bring in the best ball boys and girls possible. It could prove to be very useful.